goddess Earth is weeping with joy, with tears of rain this morning, because a human being has finally had the courage and the guts to recognize her as a whole, not just some raggedy patch quilt of nations. And I am stepping up to do this because for the good of my whole self, I'm not locked in illusory, separative, identity, optical delusion. So I'm renouncing my United States citizenship this morning in Madras. And all citizenships, the whole paradigm. I'm, I, I'm taking off. I'm stripping Goddess Earth of her raggedy patch quilt of nations. Strip that off. I want to see her naked and pure. Yeah. Uh, this pivotal moment in my life takes the raw guts of a 24-year-old. I've never been so afraid in my life <laughs> to do anything like this. You know, just give it all up and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. Well, I'm at the uh, going to be at the embassy soon because it turns out that just burning your passport, like I did at the Tibetan monastery a couple of years ago, and Swami did in Bali. Uh, it's not sufficient to free you from your accidental nation of birth. Uh, in reality, you must sign a bunch of paper, uh, papers, read statements out loud at an American embassy on foreign soil. Mm -hmm. Embassy guards witnessing it. Mm -hmm and then hand over your passport. Well, uh, what follows is a shortened version of a unique uh, historical tape recording I did uh, in my humble hotel room on that morning, July 6, 1971, before I departed for the embassy. So here's the uh, commentary on that tape recording push the play button now. The trip I keep coming back to when I get really high, when I get really free, um, is that you can flash around at the top uh, in higher awareness that you are an evolved earth person and this nation stuff is none of your business, not really worthy of your consideration. Uh, but for me, that's zero integrity and abdicating a a a attitude that makes uh, me spiritually top-heavy. Oh, yeah, it's easy to rep. I'm an earth person. You know, we're all organically a tribe. You can, you can, you can blah, blah, blah all day long, but you got to bring it down to the lower levels, to the legal level. Make it real. The densest reality levels. Uh, stop using my American passport as a consciousness compromising means to a hypocritical end, self-pleasing. And as you have just heard about, I was having a great life. Beautiful women, exotic etheogens, world travel. What I'm doing right now is the polar opposite of what my little ego earthman life wants to do exact opposite i'm destroying my own life <laughs> uh well intellectually i've come to think about what people tell me and write down in books and that usually reduces down to some kind of a relationship but then it intrigued me like what is relationship itself i pondered that for a long time in my beautiful 
secret cave in the Greek islands. And what it has come down to mean to me is that relationship is a movement. When you say, what's happening, man? You're talking about a movement towards equivalence and balance. Like, how is the sun related to the moon? The gravitational fields of the sun and the moon, they're balanced, and that's the relationship. That's what's happening. The movement towards equivalence, balance, harmony is relationship itself. Now look at we have the free choice uh, to harmoniously, harmoniously participate in the flowering evolution of mankind. Go forward, be creative, seek harmony. Or to resist, to slow down the pure evolutionary flow of humanity and planet Earth. With what? Roadblock consciousness, build walls, ban other human beings because they're Muslim or transgender or whatever. I mean, uh, that's what the old fashioned nations have grown into, given this heightened level of awareness that we are at right now. Nations, titanic log jams in the flowing river of evolution, blocking spontaneous free movement all over our planet. Nations, glorified crude corrals to contain the livestock of their captured, institutionalized, domesticated pet citizens on a chain of credit cards and big screen high definition TVs. Look at I wanted to explore Tibet, but China massacred a million Tibetans and blocked the borders. massacred one million human beings. How did we ever get used to this sickness, soul sickness of murdering people to solve a problem? Nations. Self-obsessed evil spirits is what they've become. Bloody patches on a kind of a mythological patch quilt of nations where each nation is a little different cookie cutter shape and symbol are wrapping up our goddess earth, uh, smothering our divine goddess earth so the gods and goddesses in other subtle planes cannot trip with us cannot play with us on earth. I'm fortunate to have a playmate from another dimension. I love you so much, Earthy. Look at we human beings right now, we lack sufficient, just plain freedom. Mm-hmm to be tripped out, liberated, interdimensional playmates. I've got a girlfriend from another dimension. I'm breaking through. I'm a pioneer. I'm original. I'm not afraid to be called a delusional psychotic who's talking to myself. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> Oops. Got to turn the cassette over in the tape recorder.